A good ending is the single most important part of any given comic. It doesn't even matter if the rest of the comic is absolutely golden, a terrible ending can totally ruin the overall experience, and worse, put you off getting any more of that particular series. With the last moments of a comic being the first moments that tend to leave a lasting impact, the pressure is on comic creators to make both their individual comic issues and overall comic titles end on impressive notes. Even in their closing moments, many comics manage to end on a note that would have made it worth reading a story you hated just to get to its insane ending. So with that in mind, I'm Will for What Culture, and here are 10 insane comic endings that totally came out of nowhere. Number 10, Rick Grayson. Proving that nothing is ever truly sacred, Batman 55 proved that DC were pronouncedly frightened of having a character go by the name of Dick in 2019, as they rebooted the character entirely by having him shot in the head and subsequently gaining amnesia in what appears to be a monumental change to the character developed entirely so they could start calling him Rick instead. From this point on, the entire character of Nightwing totally changes, including in the actual Nightwing comic, wherein the 50th issue starts with a basically rebooted Rick with very little explanation, which is likely to have confused its fair share of Nightwing fans who weren't up to date with the main Batman comic itself. Yeah, not all insane comic endings lead to good changes. Life is hard. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Number 9, Batman discovers the Watchmen. Given Watchmen is an entirely separate franchise to the larger DC universe, it seemed impossible that the two would ever cross paths, made twice as impossible as a result of Alan Moore's unbridled rage at any potential suggestion of his creation being used in any other form than its original comic. But this rage didn't stop the Watchmen film being made, and it did nothing to stop the DC Watchmen crossover Doomsday Clock, despite fans reacting to the comic as though it were literally Marmite, either adoring it or despising it, it's hard to argue with the idea that the introduction to this whole topic is golden, with the panel of Batman holding the comedian pin being one of the most iconic moments in DC's recent history. It's off the wall, it's completely out of nowhere, and it's a million percent sure to piss more off, and you can't help but love it just a little bit for all of that. Number 8, Ben Riley is the real Spider-Man. Or is he? With the release of Spectacular Spider-Man 226 came perhaps the biggest surprise in all of Spider-Man, namely that Spider-Man wasn't even Spider-Man. In a move that earned widespread fan backlash, the issue revealed that Peter Parker wasn't in fact the true identity of Spider-Man, but rather a clone, and that Ben Riley, who was until then thought to be Peter's clone, was himself the original version. While this bold decision was exciting in how huge a change it was, it also irritated a huge number of Spider-Man fans, who would fail to grow attached to the replacement hero in the way they did Parker. In actuality, it's unclear if Peter was always intended to revert to being the true Spider-Man, or if he was reinstated due to outrage from the fans and staff working on the series. Either way, the status quo would be restored that exact same year. Number 7, Jason Todd's Hush Reveal. Given that Batman stars in a series literally called Detective Comics, it's surprising how few times he is handed a genuinely engaging mystery to solve. This is why the constant misleads and mysteries surrounding Batman Hush are so highly praised, because they allow the world's greatest detective to actually prove he deserves that title. Of all the various potential identities the mysterious Hush is suggested to have, the single best of these comes towards the end of the comic, wherein Hush takes off his bandages to reveal none other than Jason Todd. At this point in time, Jason was still dead and had been dead for roughly 20 years, meaning that nobody was expecting anything of the sort in this comic reveal. It was, of course, a false lead. We all know that Hush is, in fact, Tommy Elliot now, but it was executed so well that the comic can arguably be largely held responsible for the actual revival of Jason Todd in Under the Red Hood two years later. Number 6, Zorn is Magneto. In perhaps one of the more unexpected reveals of the X-Men series, Zorn, the long-term tutor and beloved member of the X-Men themselves, was revealed to be none other than their long-term rival Magneto, which perhaps should have been given away by his magnetic powers. 
While initially it sounds super obvious that there was a good chance Zorn was Magneto, it had to be kept in mind that Zorn exists as a separate character for three whole years until this is revealed, which means that a good year in, most skeptics' suspicions had died down. Which they shouldn't have, because for those especially insightful or paranoid fans, their suspicions would be confirmed in 2004 with new X-Men 146, which naturally came as a huge surprise to the majority of the unsuspecting fanbase. In the end, the whole thing gets double twisted when it's revealed instead that Zorn isn't Magneto, but rather actually Zorn disguised as Magneto, and that the actual Magneto was furious that he had pretended to be him. Yeah, it's crazy, but crazy good. Number 5. Hal Jordan Becomes Parallax Known as Emerald's Twilight, the comics saw wholesome Green Lantern hero Hal Jordan turn into a villain in the wake of Coast City's destruction, with Hal even adopting a new evil moniker, Parallax, to go with his new role as DC's latest antagonist. While Hal's later actions are undeniably evil, it's hard to see him as a bad guy for most of the comic, as it's clear that he is abusing his powers as a result of seeing his hometown be destroyed. This means you're still kind of rooting for him, right up until he starts murdering his peers like he's trying to get a new high score. Number 4. Terror Revealed as a Traitor Teen Titans The Judas Contract has been praised perhaps as the best Titans comic of all time, and for good reason, as the comic contains one of the best and most surprising villain reveals of the recent decade. After building up Terra as the newest member of the Teen Titans, and a particularly endearing one at that, it is revealed that she is instead working with Deathstroke to take them down. While it seems possible that Terra will end up siding with her fellow heroes for the majority of the comic, especially due to her blossoming relationship with Beast Boy, the ending of The Judas Judas contract leaves this safely impossible, with Terra being killed in a fight against the other Titans by bringing down the building in which the battle is taking place. Seeing the team build a statue to Terra and cover up her secret malice matches this surprise with equal parts tragedy, as watching the teen heroes pretend that Terra was a hero in order to protect her family is more than a little bit heartbreaking. Number 3. Hail Hydra there are likely to be very few comics that ever replicate the mastery of ending their first issue as well as the initial issue of Captain America, Steve Rogers. In a moment that has been so iconic that it was quoted in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the comic ends with the reveal that Captain America, a permanent bastion in the fight against evil, is now working for Hydra, an undeniably evil organization. With vast portions of Steve's backstory being committed to his fight against Hydra, it's naturally quite surprising to see the hero seemingly willingly working with his most despised enemies. Number 2. Secret Invasion the casual air with which Marvel released a plot twist that was essentially everyone you love is an alien is as shocking as it is absolutely beautiful. Finding out that Black Bolt, Spider-Woman, Hank Pym, and many others had been secretly replaced by the alien Skrulls in order to try and slowly take over the world by taking out Earth's superheroes one by one is the kind of reveal that is as crazy as it is perfect. With Skrulls being able to disguise themselves as anyone, it makes total sense that they would go undercover as some of the most powerful and influential figures in the world, and yet more sense that some of them would be able to pull it off. If you simply saw the words Aliens Take Over Marvel on paper, you'd think the comic would be complete garbage. Yet, through sheer witchcraft and miracles, the whole thing proves a really interesting and novel story, as well as being one of Marvel's best uses of the scrolls themselves. Number 1. No More Mutants Nothing in comics can quite match up to the surprise when, in the 2005 House of M comic, Scarlet Witch uttered the words, No More Mutants, and reset reality to have roughly only 2% of mutants still retain their actual powers, in a world-changing moment that would go on to be known as the Decimation. These events would go on to have a monumental impact of both the X-Men and the Marvel Universe, with mutants as powerful as Magneto being totally depowered entirely because of one single sentence. It seemed almost certain that this event would be immediately reverted, but the decimation stayed in canon for a surprisingly long time, with only the most important mutant heroes being repowered through a variety of elaborate shenanigans. In terms of dramatic and unexpected endings, the world being almost totally wiped of mutants due to one phrase is pretty much the premium example. And there you have it folks, 10 insane comic endings that totally came out of nowhere. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at usly.u. 
I'm Will for What Culture. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>